Coming out of transition, make the left turn. Took it a little bit faster than earlier, but it, it looks scarier than it actually is. Uh, the wetness is actually okay. That is very bumpy and takes a lot of your speed. So because I'm at the back and I have some extra space, I'm gonna take this turn a little bit faster just to see what it's like at a bit higher speed. So this one, 90 degree turn, very wide. Yeah, you can pedal through the whole thing. Take it wide. Same thing, 90 degree turn. Take it wide, yeah. Didn't stop pedaling, didn't lose any watts through any of those turns. And I was riding pretty hard, so during the race, I don't anticipate any of the athletes slowing down for those. Uh, same thing with this turn, where you just switch sides of the road. If you pick the right line, you can just continue straight, pretty much. So, today, the current temperature, 6.30 in the morning, is 30 degrees Celsius, 90% humidity. It's supposed to feel like 36 degrees Celsius. So it's a, a bit toasty. Not too bad. When the, we have a cloud cover, like we did earlier, it makes a huge difference as opposed to having the sun. So here's another 90 degree turn with the paint. Took it pretty fast. No slippage whatsoever on the tires. And here's the 90 degree turn that comes into a slightly more narrow place. But I took that one a bit faster than the first lap. And it was good. Felt really good. So I'm gonna ride this portion just a bit faster as well. See what it's like. Closer to race speed. Obviously won't get two race speeds. But if I'm breathing a bit harder, that's why. So this left turn is across the bridge. And then another left turn. There are two grates that go across. So those grates will be important to not have too much weight, especially on your front wheel uh, going into that turn because you could slide out on, I don't know what you call them, but they're just metal plates across the bridge. So slow down a bit for this turn, but no need to brake for the speed that I'm going. Lift up the bike a bit and hit those bumps, no problem. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap again just so that I can take this next section a bit faster. So here we go again, up the one meter little bump. It's quite steep, it's like 20% but only for one meter, so makes things interesting. Gearing be important in preparation of that. So here's the cool, fun, sweeping Z turn. I'm gonna take it a bit faster. So see what it's really like and yeah that's really really nice that turn is awesome that's probably my favorite turn on the whole course banked smooth very grippy uh, even though we're riding on what looks like tile or squares it's uh, not slick at all it's very grippy but also those are my favorite turns this is probably my favorite part of the course where it really opens up you can see the cityscape, you can see the bridge, you can see the Ferris wheel going through the gardens. It's magnificent Tokyo. Pretty cool. So once again, downhill, about three or four percent on this part, so it could be very fast. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap again just so I can take this next turn more towards race speed. Because it's a zigzag, sharp right, sharp left. All right, let's see if I start accelerating now, I won't run into anyone. Yeah, that turn is really cool too. Um, the first time I went through there, I was kind of behind people, so just had to take it slow and I wasn't sure how technical or how grippy it was and that felt really cool. So all the athletes, if they've practiced this properly and They'll know that during the race, they'll be able to take advantage of those turns. Uh, that is the most technical section. 
I do not like that section. That's my least favorite of the whole course. Um, but what they've done, what it used to be, and what how they fixed it, and like created a, a way to get down from there onto this main road, it was pretty cool. So well done to Japanese Federation. They've done a fantastic job getting this course ready. So that time we had to slow down a little bit so I could just pedal through the whole U-turn, but normally you'd have more speed for that and not be able to do that. So now we're heading back down into the tunnel. And last time I was around 51 kilometers an hour not uh, pedaling. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster, see if I can hit some race speed and just see, because I'm curious at what they're gonna be going during the race. So I am wearing a t-shirt and shorts, keep that in mind. But. So basically, just now, going down that hill, um, I saw a max speed of about 62.8. So that's most likely what they're gonna be doing during the race. Uh, I would imagine, probably faster. I did go pretty hard, but we'll see. So that's a substantial hill. And with, all, with more speed coming out, it made this coming up this hill much, much easier. Need to catch my breath now. Whew. So here's a U-turn. Nice and wide. There is white paint, but this white paint isn't like normal white road paint. Like, I don't think you have to be too worried about it in terms of slipping or sliding out. Every turn that I've done, the tires feel really, really good. But right now, I actually haven't pumped up my tires for a while, so I'm running around uh, 80 PSI. So if that gives you any indication a little bit more grip. See what the athletes do on race day and weather conditions permitting. So here we are going back towards the transition area. You make that final right turn, you can pedal through, no problem. And then long 400 meters straight away. Gonna be super, super fast before you make that left turn back onto the platform. So, some fun facts about Tokyo before we end. It has the most Michelin star restaurants in the world. It's also the biggest metropolitan area in the world. 36 million people, it's pretty hefty. And it has the most vending machines in the world. There's a vending machine every 12 meters. And it, the electricity for keeping all the vending machines is 3% of the cost of Tokyo, so 3% of energy usage just on vending machines. All right, now we're back on the platform. This portion is about 50 meters, uh, fairly steep, like 6%. So you're able to get lots of speed just on that little bit. There's these little bumps uh, every, I don't know, 25 meters um, where the platform changes uh, elevation. So those you can just ride over pretty easily or hop over. It's not too bad. So that concludes bike course. So they have eight laps, five kilometers each lap. 